Hey guys, Nick60 here coming to you with another Combat Arms gun review. This is the SR2 Varesque. Not to be confused with the SR2 Normandy. That was a really bad joke and I'm sorry. So yeah, this is a submachine gun. Managed to uh, get this one in yet another uh, the free rotations. Um, personally, I like this one. It's got one major flaw though. The 2100 ammo count. Yeah, I know that's the same as 3090 in terms of total bullets, but that 20 round magazine, it's not a lot for a gun of this rate of fire. It's really not. Um, yeah, it could really use an ammo improvement. Other than that, though, I really like it. It's relatively small, so nice, fast, and light. It's got the built-in, uh, it's got the built-in, uh, ACOG scope with, or, no, it's a reflex sight, actually, I think. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a moment to see when I zoom in. It is an ACOG. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. No. Yes. It's barely an ACOG. It's like a cross between a reflex sight and an ACOG. With the uh, flash assist, which doesn't really do you much good, unfortunately. But it does have the ammo and health count, which is a little useful. Especially with something with that low of a per magazine ammo count. If you get it, most definitely pick extended mags if you can. As a free gun rotation, I could, didn't have that choice, so I ended up just having to use it stock, but I really like it. It's relatively accurate for a submachine gun, though you can see, ammo reload. But yeah, accurate for a submachine gun, not overwhelmingly loud to, for broadcasting where you are. The built-in ACOG Reflex Hybrid, and it doesn't, like I said, its ammo count and rate of fire are both its advantage and its disadvantage, but at least it has a fairly quick reload, as you can see. Um, not much else to say. I wouldn't use it on, like, Snow Valley unless I'm going to spend the entire time uh, underground. But otherwise, it's, it's definitely close quarters, junk flea, death roam, cold seed if you're actually using other weapons with it, probably. The, uh, seems to have some penetration issues, though, with the almost penetra- uh, almost, uh, destructible, or whatever you want to call it, uh, sheets there. I, I just, I could never understand why they did that in this game. I don't know. Um... Not much else to say about this one, another short one, but yeah, it is fun. It is comparable to a number of the, to quite a few of the other submachine guns in terms of uh, overall effectiveness. Like I said, it really suffers from the ammunition count, but its high rate of fire and fast reload do definitely mitigate that. And like I said, you'd be willing to, you can live with that, especially if you throw in an extended magazine to improve that. So yeah, that that is the SR2 Varesque. Um, not much else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and found it helpful. Uh, if you liked the video and want to see more, feel free to check out my channel. Um, also, if you want to help, if you want to stay up to date, uh, feel free to subscribe or check out my Twitter, Nick60Vids. And if you are feeling really generous after having seen this, feel please check out my Patreon. Nikolai60. Links to all these in the description. So yeah, SO2 Varesque. Moving right along. Nick60 signing off. I'll see you guys later.